and she get peak or his wife and bounty in the process. These transitions are a little funny. I'm gonna have to work on those. Hello, good evening. Delta Diversions time. We're gonna go do some racing. Wife is back there yelling at the TV because the Murkrock is getting eaten by wolves. This time, what was it? Gunshots? Heavily armored guys. Just came up and smashed the shit out of you. They clapped them Laura Croft cheeks. Yeah, they did. Laura's always getting her cheeks clapped. Not for. <laughs> what up, Jez? You made Not it. Not for the right reasons. <laughs> no, always for we the wrong reasons. We know what reasons. you're doing, Dill. Those. Uh... <laughs> All right. Let's go f cruise out to our racetrack. Yeah, let me send you a wing invite when I get my eagle. All right, that was at B3, what? No, we're going to uh, a different system. Nevermore. Oh, cool, Nevermore. Yeah, I, uh, yeah, I'll send it to you again. I might have to fly out there and then ship my courier. Let's see. Uh, depending on how far it is. Can't even get there in my eye courier. No. No, it doesn't. What's the jump go. range on your courier? Uh, jump range is five point eight two light years. Ooh, hold up. Yeah, that might not be optimal for this thing. There's Angus. Oops, I trespassed. <laughs> Trying to see if there's any changes. I'm 1500 light years from the bubble. I don't really have a racer, though. It's just going to be uh, me and Dell testing out a track real quick. Yeah, just to get that viability. Uh oh. Working on that 932 meter per second Piper right now. <laughs> I made it. Oh Jesus, Dell. It, it wasn't graceful, but I made it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, just bounced it around a little bit. A little bit of rattle. A little bit of rattle. Hey, boss lady, you made it. <laughs> I made it. We made it. Everybody's here. My friends have gonna this. Say... No, go ahead. Go ahead. Um, I think what you could do is put a better frame shift drive in it and a fuel scoop for the time being, and then when we get out there, you can swap it down to the right one. That way, you don't have to take the time to ship it out there. Oh, yeah, that'll probably still that'll be take faster. longer. I mean, it's probably 20 minutes shipping. Yeah. Which. I mean, I can fill 20 minutes, but it'd be better to do it while flying and save 20 minutes so we're more efficient. All right, let's see what we have available here. Hey, uh, what shields do you have that they didn't die there when I rattled through that mail <laughs> slot? Um, I think they're 3B. Aren't yeah, they? 3B, I think. Yeah, 3B on this. Just because I. Uh, th so this is a special racing league. Boss and Jez. What we're working on uh, in Ishtar, that's our coalition. Uh, is a new racing league. What we noticed was elite racers are all pretty much maxed out. When you go to do their racing league, it's like everybody's in the 932 Vipers, right? Everybody's as fast as possible, balls to the wall, and it's a high ceiling of entry. Uh, but what we've done, Clock Tower mostly, I helped a little bit, uh, <laughs> put together a, a bunch of ships that are all governed to max out at certain top speeds, certain boost speeds, and certain boost intervals. So we now have competitive options in every league. So we've got like a, this is the I Courier from the 651 meters per second boost range. And then they are all, uh, uh, they're all competitive with one another. So you can race this against any number of the other competitive ship builds, and they're easy to uh, access. A lot of them have very little engineering required, so it's it makes it more accessible to all kinds of... Wow, Jez. Yeah, <laughs> he is a crazy mother lover. That's right, new kitty emote. 
I gotta make some more guys. I got BTTV, so I gotta create some more emotes and plug them in there. All right, frame shift drive. What am I writing? <coughs> yeah, I just have the 2D in there at the moment. Yeah, try upgrading that if you can to anything. And Nevermore has a system or a station out there. All right. So then you should be able to buy at least a basic frame shift drive there. Okay. Nice. Uh... Oh, look at your kitty emotes. So the little kitty there is Norman. And then I have another kitty, Gigi. Her name is Giada de Ferentis, actually. <sighs> hey, Tianfeng. Salute. Salancha. To life. All right, let me get a fuel scoop on this bad boy, and then we'll be cruising. I want you to watch me boost out of the station, though. I will. Norman, Gia, yeah. And Parmigiano. 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 Reggiano. You gotta hear the music in it. Hey. Perhaps everybody. watching Glory's Bastards again. Thank you. <laughs> yes, I knew you. somebody was gonna get that. Um, let me go to free cam and see you. <laughs> All right, I'm. Where are you? I'm in the back of the station. Just kind of watch the exit of the mail slot. Wait, let me get. Me. Hang on, I'm gonna get to a good spot so I can get a nice cinematic view of you. Hang on. I see you there. Hang on a second. Just... Let me get my. Yeah, get the. Uh, g watch the mail slot though. All right. Uh oh, someone's stuck in there. Camera's ready. Dell, though. it's also on your face. Oh no, right, yeah, wrong one. To your face. I hit the wrong damn thing. Wouldn't that have been embarrassing? I wanted <laughs> game only. This one, I gotta get a shorter transition too. Thank you, Matt Dark Pro, for wh whipping up a transition. I love it. Okay, here we go, and go for it. Slick. <laughs> that was a chieftain cross. Um, Jez, you pets are Toby, Golden Retriever, Timo, nice, aka Banana, my emo cat. Coco Pookie? Coco Pookie's a cute name. <coughs> the lady has two dogs of her own. Yeah, it is a fun transition. I, I hooked up. Um, he threw it together so fast, and then he saw it and was like, oh, it's so long. So I, I hooked him up with a couple more PNGs and a background, so we're going to get a fresh one, too. I kind of want to have a few other ones for when I'm not playing Elite Dangerous, which so far I have not not played Elite Dangerous, but I will. I will. It's hard to resist. All right, I can actually make this now. Yeah. <laughs> Nine jumps, but that's doable. It's not as bad. As soon as I finally started engineering the FSD on this TBX, I became spoiled. Yeah, yeah, the jump ranges are so critical. That's always the thing that when, with new players that I always try to tell them is like it gets better. You just have to get over that short jump range and everything gets a little better. Uh, again, I want to give a shout out, as I have every night so far, to Toko So for producing all of this awesome music. Um, this free royalty-free, Elite Dangerous-themed music to use during the stream. I love you for it. Thank you so much. And then, since they're here, huge shout-out to Boss Lady B and WK Jazz. Amazing streamers. Awesome people. And very generous with their time and their advice and their communities. Yeah, this is the Imperial Courier. Um... So I think it's one of the prettier ships in the game. I think it really looks, it looks flash. I love it. Use a bit more blue here and there, but yeah, it's good. Make sure you fully fuel scoop. I'll get on one of the other stars. <laughs> okay. <laughs> There's always another star. I'm curious, you see those like German nightclub looking paint jobs for the Anaconda? 
Could you put one of those on an Imperial Courier? Uh, no, I don't think the Courier has a lot of paint jobs. I want a German nightclub paint job on it, on my everything. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boom, boss lady. I'm gonna, sorry, I'm chewing a Hershey's Kiss. I'm gonna return the favor. Oh, boss, I wanted to tell you something. <laughs> hang, hang on. As soon as I land, I'll go in my settings and return those, those hosts to both of you. I think I might have one or both of you already, but... Um, <laughs> when you raided me, I think it was like 2 a.m., and I was so exhausted, and then I was... Uh, Spinach, one of your one of your viewers, he's, was so generous and like was so engaged and was throwing me all these awesome, complicated science questions. And it's like 2 a.m. in my brain, I'm just like, oh, I gotta, I'm trying to get this going and engage with these people. It was so fun and challenging, but I was like, oh man, if I had been alert and primed, <laughs> it was still wonderful. Yeah, Spinach was cool. I want to talk more with him. I feel like he'll ask me questions that'll like get me really going. Sometimes that's all I need is somebody just like give me the right question, and I'm just uh, you know uh, so excited. <clears throat> Boss lady pulls out your boofing sword to fight. I love boofing swords. My friends do a lot of LARPs and have um, an extensive boof collection. I just have the real deals, just a couple. I also have a real sword. Yeah, they're, they're good. It's good to have one. Right, it's so, got a machete on my wall, does that count? Yeah, it does, actually. <laughs> um, one that I was done and paved raid with like 80 people, and I looked at the clock and was like, okay, I guess I'm not going to bed. <laughs> I dig that. Dark matter, how do we find it? Maybe we don't. Maybe it's not there, Jez. Tian Feng, I'm in a core here. It's a new racing league that we're working up, and the courier is the one that we're going to test a track on, so. Not only that, but the courier is an amazing ship. And it's so pretty. Um, so, matter, dark matter, how do we find it? Maybe we don't, is what I say. Maybe it isn't there. I read some new stuff where there's, I mean, <clears throat> there's some now new maths. Let me see if I can find a source on this and kickstart my memory because it was actually pretty interesting. Which kind of bothered me that the idea that dark matter may not exist because it's it's this idea that we've um, it's it, it's an idea that we have leaned on pretty heavily and used to describe this unknown expansion of the universe. Um, <coughs> let's see if I can find. Cosmos Magazine had a good article on it. I'm trying to see what, yeah, so Franz, Fritz Zwicky first observed dark matter in the 1930s, and then Vera Rubin, who is a goddess of astronomy and science, she was one of the people that first made the um, observations and mathematics that actually proved and kind of helped verify dark matter as a possible thing, a possible cause of this unknown expansion. Where's the part where they burst our bubble about it? Hmm. I would need to reread this whole article, which I don't want to do on the stream, but um, it is an interesting thought. Maybe there's some other field or constant in the universe that's causing this expansion. It doesn't necessarily need to be matter that we can't observe. But I'm inclined to believe in the dark matter idea. If it's not, maybe dark <coughs> matter is a loose enough way to describe some other phenomena that's occurring because everything we've po hypothesized about dark matter fits our <coughs> observations, right? We're pretty Perfect. sure. Something opposing like particle to the Higgs boson. Right. I mean, we know that um, it doesn't interact with baryonic matter in any way. So, I mean, how do you 
make an observation or try to uh, try to find something like that. Same thing with the planet X, right? We know there's this gravitational body out there. We've never observed it. Recently, some scientists came out and said, what if it's a primordial <coughs> black hole? About the size of Manhattan. <coughs> just out there. It's cleaned its orbit up. It's dark. It has no accretion disk. It's just going to sit there forever and have this anomalous effect on our internal body's gravity. Dark Matter is a great book as well. Dark Matter. Familiar. Sure. Got it's really good. So yeah, when you get here, uh, make sure to stop at uh, Pinto Ring to swap back your frame shift drive. Got it. I haven't read Dark Matter, boss lady. Give me um, give me the, give me five lines about it. Give me your short like, sell on, sell me on it. I want to read some. Blit Crouch. I'm not familiar. I have not read any Blake Crouch. I'm hooked. Multi-universe, I'm hooked. <clears throat> Did you ever read Neil Stevenson's Anathem? That's a, a great multiverse story. It's beautiful, it's harrowing, it's mystifying. Just a warning, sometimes Stevenson reads a little bit like a textbook. He loves explanatory. Yes, Seven Eves was so cool. I wished, that was a book that, now I've read a lot of Neil Stevenson, and one thing I noticed about his stuff is that he has phenomenal ideas and beautiful presentation and fantastic exposition and exploration and <coughs> he often struggles to end his stories i mean i loved the ending of um the diamond age it was fantastic it was it was an explosion of drama and excitement and twists but like yeah seven eves i wanted it either to it needed to continue for like 500 more pages to do all the stuff that stevenson wanted it to do Oh, the ending to Diamond Age is a huge what the fuck. Every part of it. I won't give any spoilers in case somebody wants to read it. But yeah, I'm like, I, you go back and you reread the passage. Did this just happen? <laughs> like, did she really just do this? Right now, propping up my my tripod for my webcam, I've got Death's End and The Dark Forest, which are the final two books in the Three Body Problem <coughs> trilogy by Xi Xin Liu. I'm sure I'm mispronouncing his name. He's an amazing Chinese science fiction author. And The Three Body Problem is one of my favorite first contact stories I've ever read. It deals a lot with the Fermi paradox and game theory and communicating and encountering and dealing with an alien race. And it's set in this amazing backdrop of China which is, as an American sci-fi nerd, <clears throat> I have very limited exposure to, like, internal Chinese culture. And, I, and, and I'm not an average American consumer of it either. Like, I've gone out of my way to learn about things like the Cultural Revolution and, and you know, the, the results of that and certain periods of Chinese history that I know some about, but um, phenomenal, three-body problem. Yeah, the three-body problem is the name of the first book which I actually only have in ebook, and then I bought the second two in hard copy. Um, here, let me write his name in here. Si Xin Liu is the author, and it's translated by by Dell overshoots the the place every time. Joel Martinson. There's a chilling and beautiful solution to the Fermi paradox that is contained within this, those three books. And uh, it's sobering and it's kind of saddening. And I'll leave it at that for right now because I'd very much like you to read it. Um, I love I love talking about those kinds of things. I love science fiction. On top of the final two books of The Three-Body Problem, I have 
When You Are Engulfed in Flames by David Sedaris, which is a delightfully sarcastic and nihilistic exploration of life through the eyes of that demented and delightful man. And then finally, I needed another inch and a half, so I've got Mostly Harmless, Harmless by Douglas Adams, because it's appropriate. Boss Lady, you're blowing through the expeditionary force at the moment. <clears throat> the expeditionary force. Have not. It sounds fun and spacey. Unfortunate. This track is uh, not being lit by the sun, but no. it's still pretty easy to see with night vision, so it's fine. Sure, yeah. I can do it. Cyber Blitz, recommend it. I've heard the name. I, I, it's been recommended before. I'm sure I've heard of Cyber Blitz. I mean, I mean of uh, Expeditionary Force. It's okay, Jez. Many are. It's become difficult in our modern age to make time to read. I sh I still struggle with it. For all that I have read, it isn't easy, especially when we give ourselves more to do. I make time for that as well. I recently read The Indifferent Stars Above, which is an amazing telling of the Donner Party. Uh, and it's beautifully told and magnificently well researched. If you want to know more about exactly what what happened during the Donner Party, <laughs> um, yeah, I do. I do love some some nonfiction Donner Party. Yeah, the the Indifferent Stars Above was very good. Before that, in nonfiction, I read um, The Road to Jonestown. All about Jim Jones and, and that whole thing, which is amazing, an amazing story. I mean, we all know how Jonestown ended, but um, to see how it got to that point. Um, I don't want to start talking about mass, well, it wasn't mass suicide, it was mass murder. I don't want to start, we don't need to get into that just yet. We could, we could get into that later. I do love talking about the macabre. Um, Devil in White City was great, if you ever read that, about H.H. H. Holmes, which now I'm hearing there is some consideration that H.H. H. Holmes and his murder castle may have actually been a myth entirely. There is questionable veracity to the claims and the historicity of this hotel that H.H. H. Holmes systematically murdered countless scores of, of women visiting the Chicago World's Fair. There's doubt, which, I mean, I don't want to be upset about that because it's an awful thing that happened. If it hadn't happened, that's good. But it's also like that's... You can keep the scoop on, actually, if you well, want. Doi. Yeah, why not? If it keeps... I'm still below minimum mass with that and then just... Fix it doesn't the add shift. mass, yeah. It doesn't add mass. Lovely. No, fuel scoops are weightless. Pretty sure I just missed this conversation, but what I did gather, that is why I take my job seriously with guest safety. It is, it's, I don't know. It's scary how many hotel workers don't think about the guests. I shouldn't even say that. <laughs> well, there was somewhat recently that story. Well, not somewhat recently. There's the, um, what's the hotel in LA with the girl in the water tower, babe? The Cecil Hotel in Los Angeles. They changed the name of it, but it's the story of this girl who was there. and um, She was found in the... Alyssa Lamb. This woman is an encyclopedia. God, I love her. She just can just recall things like no other. Who needs Google? I just ask her. So, Alyssa Lamb at the Cecil Hotel. Um, she was found dead in the water tower above the hotel. Uh, surveillance footage showed her wandering through the hallways aimlessly and eventually she found her way up um, outside of the footage she 
undressed and got into the water tank. And nobody's really sure what happened. Most likely explanation is it was probably a manic or depressive episode, and she was in a terrible state and was, you know, not in a right state of mind and unsupervised, and somebody forgot to lock the water tower. She got in, and the door closed, and she couldn't get out. Tianfeng, I like oh stories my. of old folk tales. One in my area, a killer fog cloud leaves nothing but bones. I love old myths and folk tales, especially stuff like that. Cryptids, spookies, <laughs> all kinds. I love cryptids. Good old cryptids. Gotta keep an eye out for them cryptids. All right, I think we're back. Boost is um, six fifty one. Top speed four seventy nine. Nice. Yep. We are, you are good. in business. So the part <coughs> all I, oh, excuse me. Sorry all I know is I'm a Nazi when it comes to the keys and making sure they're all accounted for. And I will not like someone can give me the hardest time ever. They are not getting into a room without an ID. I'm sorry. Like they could tell me I'm gonna get fired all day, but like please tell my boss. Please tell my boss how I followed policy. What if, yeah, no. I I love the sh the strength of policy. Malicious compliance is a great a great thing. Um, what if they're naked at the front desk? You're like, please, I got locked out. You ever I had will... a naked guy show up? He was like 70 and demented, and luckily his kids told us ahead of time that he might get locked out of the room, and we got him back into his room really, really fast. That's <laughs> handled it. Handled it. Uh, so the planet you're going to is Nevermore A1. 10-4. I'll turn on my wing beacon so you can drop right on top of me. Thank you. Otherwise, it'll take you a hot second to find it. Did you say the planet is called Nevermore? The system. The is system Nevermore. is never, Nevermore. Quoth the Raven. How's Nevermore. Hey, Edgar. Edgar. Oh, Edgar. What a magnificent. But haunted bastard. What? So what happened with his death? What do you guys think? You guys got any Edgar Allan Poe death theories? Do you want me to? Do you want me to lay it out for the stream chat? Edgar Allan Poe's death is très mysterious. Wasn't he? I. It's been so long since I've given a shit about literature. Was he the writer or a poet or was he both? The poet. Well, that's both, why I don't. Both. That's why I don't remember him. I fucking hate poetry. Well, he wrote both. He he did both. I mean, he wrote the um, what was it, the House of hate Poetry. Yeah, poetry is beautiful. I don't like poetry. I it was ruined for me, but that's my own problem, I guess. Probably by a shitty high school teacher. Jez. Oh yeah, <laughs> I knew it. Jez says he's currently reading up on John Noyes of the 16th century. A fascinating, a fascinating story of a village that secretly tried to avoid a public execution motivated by religion. Where you grew up. Wonderful. That's very interesting. And that segues right into something that I find really interesting is um, public execution. I listened to a wonderful, um, <laughs> a wonderful piece by Dan Carlin uh, in his series Hardcore History. And the, the segment was titled Painfotainment. And it was all about public execution and our history with it and the purpose of it and the success or failure of it. And I, I don't want to, uh, for those of you that want to listen to it, I suggest you do. It's amazing. Dan Carlin is a wonderful presenter. Um, one of the things that he concludes and, and shares is that the last public execution ever held in modern times was the most well-attended public execution in history of all of them. Public executions didn't go out of style because we as a people decided that we were too civilized for them or that we didn't want to see blood shed in public for our own amusement. Quite the contrary. We were clamoring for them. We couldn't wait for the next public executions. It's for that reason that the powers that be and the authorities decided to stop because they weren't serving their intended purpose. They weren't cowing the populace into obedience to authority. They were giving them a circus. Who doesn't want to see a good public execution? That's what I'm saying. And eventually the powers that <laughs> be were like, I guess it doesn't matter. They're going to be excited either way. Jez, apparently the whole village quelled their fires. 
to try and avoid them having the ability to light the pyre. Wow, get rid of all the fires in the village. What are you going to do? That's cool. And see, that must have been a deeply personal event to those villagers, because as I understand, a lot of the sentiment at the time was, you know, get... There's, there's going to be a killing. Let's go. For some reason, I think of that, that scene from... Uh, the Good Omens Amazon show with the witch and the fire. Um, Don't I'm going to do a lap. Okay, I'm jumping in on you. Uh, well, I was going to say, I'm going to do a lap without boosting and you can follow me. Great. That way you can get the lay of the track and then we can do the three laps. Put me 66 kilometers away from you, but I can close you that distance. You went too fast. <laughs> yeah. Navlock, though. Okay, I'll do it manually. I just think you were going too quick. Because there is a speed restriction on entering uh, orbital crews and uh, glides. So I guess I gotta I gotta be safely in orbital cruise before the navlock can take me down to a surface. Yeah. Hmm. Good to Yeah, know. you can't be going too too fast. Good to know. Um, I need to get my hands on a HBO sub somehow eventually, or just, you know, maybe sail the high seas a little. I don't, I don't know. We'll see, but I really want to see that Avenue 5 show that looks very good. Hugh Laurie as some space captain. I really enjoy reading history. Sometimes you, it's fun to read like history from history. I once went to the Ren Fair and found this book at the book sale called The Beacon Lights of History. And it was essentially is a history book from the early like early 1900s or late 1800s and uh it had some amazing um like in historical racism and misconceptions. But also some very interesting, like, it's interesting how the Western world, in particular, kind of revered and celebrated the accomplishments of, like, the Islamic republics and all that, um, yet at the same time were very racist and, and you know, opposed to them. Tian Feng, here's a fun, inter interesting thing. The Knights of the Golden Circle, a secessionist group, was allegedly founded in part by one Edwin Stanton, the Secretary of War under Lincoln. Furthermore, Mr. Stanton was in charge of Lincoln's security detail and replaced his usual bodyguard with a man known for his drinking. Mr. Stanton also led the search for the conspirators and assassin after the fact. Interesting. So wait, did he found the Knights of the Golden Circle before he was Lincoln's guard? That is neat. If you like uh, military strategy or just history in general, um, B. H. Lydell Hart, he writes very eloquently, far from uh, many historical writers. Yeah, it's a. Uh, some of them are better than others at telling the story in a way that's compelling. Howdy. He, Howdy. He's very eloquent. All right. All right. I'll follow you. So, yeah. Hold up. I'm gonna make sure I didn't get turned around. Okay, now I'm good. Just some 
random ships that are uh, <laughs> sitting there for some reason. I've seen that before too. Where there's some of them, if you cruise up, you'll see a commander in the sea. This is nice. Did you spot this from orbit? No, I. I it was in um, a link on the elite racers. Chairs, I linked in your Discord for your downtime. The plaque. Oh, I lost you. Sorry, I got distracted. They distracted me. Oh, you got to go wide around that lump? Is that what happened there? Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. I see. And then when you go through this part, you have to... You can't go, like, right over it because you can just go straight. You have to kind of twist through there. I see. Stay and then when you come... When you come out of it, there's uh, a little dip, like right here, that you need to pass through, and it makes it a sharp turn into the stretch to the the lap marker, which is the negative. You lap when you reach negative um, one point two. Is oh, the okay. lap mark cool? That's a good way to register it. So there'd be three laps of that. All right, cool. I'd like to run through it one more time here. Um, yeah, just without boosting. Yeah, we can do sure. that. Yeah, let me catch up on the chat here one second. I linked in your Discord for your downtime the plaque they put up on the church they built by the point where they executed him. Yeah, thank you. I'll definitely look into that. That sounds great. Love, I love history. The older, the better. I mean, I still shit my pants routinely about the fact that Cyrus's tomb is a place that exists that we can go to. We have Cyrus's tomb. Way to go, humanity. Anyway, <laughs> Tian Feng is a secret society, and that is the allegation some say. I don't know, just find it interesting. Like the time a bunch of rich people were trying to recruit generals to overthrow FDR. The businessman's plot. Thank you, General Thomas Smedley, for saving us from the businessman's plot. Yes, and is he a liar looking for publicity? The thing is, is did his life improve? Did did he, you, qui bono, did he make it out like a bandit? for revealing the businessman's plot? No, he was slandered and dragged through the mud, wasn't he? I'm inclined to believe General Smedley. It was General Smedley Butler, actually is his name. General Butler. I'm inclined to believe him. Oh, Jess, I'm far too disorganized for... <laughs> <laughs> I'm lacking solid expertise in any one real field. All right, go ahead and lead me again. Okay. I will follow. I just want to make sure I don't miss any of those bumps when I start smoking you and getting the lead. <laughs> Not if that's how I'm going to fly. Oh, yeah, let me slow down. No, 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 no. Oh, okay, you're good. Nope, maybe you should. <laughs> now I'm trying to cut corners a little bit. Yeah, that's not the best idea. Uh oh, might die. 3%. Uh oh, why? What are you doing? I don't know, being a ding dong. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so the the big thing that took me a hot second was I would go over this little hump that's in front of us, but you have to go around it kind of wide, like here, and then you have to go back. So wait, oh, so to the left. And then back over here. Okay. And then around this hump. This is it. This is it. Oh, hoo, hoo. wow. I don't want to know how close to the ground I got there. <laughs> um, Jez, actually, yeah, I was thinking today, Jez just said he's a hull seal if we want one on hand. I was thinking it would be cool to have refuel and hull repair staff on hand for the races. Oh, nice. A hull seal? Yeah. 
Maybe we should contact the whole seals for like partnership on some of these. Maybe have to have one of their reps. They could be the pit crew. <laughs> Honestly, we'd probably only need like one uh, large ship that just had a repair limp that, that had a bunch of them. Right. Yeah. Well, I was just saying we could ask the whole seals to provide that person for our our races. So that's one thing we need to nail down is efficiency and stuff like that. Um, how mm -hmm. we how we'd set up and record the efficiency. Thankfully, which... this track doesn't really need any people to like shoot mining lasers into the ground to govern where people go because as you've seen it's kind of easy to tell where to go especially because it yeah. it's nighttime right you dead baby oh she dead <laughs> all right um let me regenerate my shield a little bit more because one hit and i'm yeah, dead. yeah and where's the start line at 21 you said uh y yeah so the official start line is a little bit above but i don't personally i don't think that gives you enough time to go forward or to boost forward enough oh, I so see. i've been We'd start the race behind 21. i've been no the official is uh negative 1.17 and then 20.26 i've been going with getting the negative to uh negative 1.20 and then the having it be 21.0 for the start line. Sounds good. So I think. I think you can go up a little bit more. Right, you can go a little bit further. Let me see what Tian Feng here says. I can see it both ways. Talking about Smedley Butler. The FDR wasn't the most liked by many. But also the fear of a rise of fascism to use as a way to keep those people in check. Or just him looking to be a hero. True. Or maybe it was just some guys being like jerk Roosevelt. Someone should overthrow that guy and Butler overreacted. Could be. <laughs> could be. Go a, go a touch further. 21 yeah, right there's good. Right. Yeah, that's good. Sweet. I'm at 2105. Negative 1.2105. Bossley, what did you miss? We we took a wild tangent through history. Um, well, we started with like from the nonfiction kick. You were there for that, and then we ducked into a little bit more history, and then Tian Feng threw out a couple of nice historical curveballs, and we're still peppering that in. Smedley <laughs> Butler and the business plot. All right. Um, make sure you have two pips and systems so you don't. Uh, so your your shield shouldn't insta die when you run into something at this uh, speed category with the uh, two pips in there. Right. Yeah. But if you do it three times, they will. Well, but you want four pips <laughs> in to engines. Yes. Ready when you are. All right. Uh, if you want to go ahead and do the countdown, we can go at go. All right. So. Go. Oh. Three, two, one. Go. My wife doesn't like the rats in the video games. Is she playing Vermintide? No, she's playing um, uh, 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 Tomb Raider. Oh, it's this. No, I see. Shit! I forgot that first lump that I needed to curve around. <laughs> there is a bit of an unfair advantage. I do know this track a bit more. You do. But still. Hello, this is it. Bye. Oh, no, you died. <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess I win. <laughs> you win. Let's try that again. <laughs> yeah. Kabonk. That's right, Tian Feng. Oh, yeah. Um, I'm not friends with him. Oh, okay. He just... He's just commenting on my 
Um, I nah, he, death. he just added me. He's coming over to have repair limpets. Oh, Jazz is. Cool. Great. Yeah. Phil Mitchell. It's yeah. Like Paul, Paul Mitchell's brother. Boss Lady, um, if you want to get in on some of like, the early testing and messing around on some of this, I'd be happy. We can send you our ship builds. Right now, we're just messing in the first, uh, in the first category. But yeah, we're, we're right right now we're testing the track for the first race. If uh, Dell can actually complete three laps, it'd be pretty good. <laughs> we'll see what happens. I'm sure I can do it. Do you want me to do another um, another run through? Yeah, yeah. Let's do one more. Do you have like bumper pads you can put up along those hard parts? No. You can't you can't put up little soft like squishy bumper pads? Boss lady, I assure you I'm doing a solid job of dumby proofing this of dumby testing this thing. Oh here here's the pirate ballad from <laughs> from the song from the album. Love it. Oh, um, What's this track called? Yeah. Uh, Levy and Brandy. Yeah, that's a really good good one. It is. Where do we listen to the track at? Where do we find it? Um, you, I will... you should have a link to it. I should. Yeah, let me actually do that. Let me park in Super Cruise for one second. Uh, I can do this real fast. I'm going to go to my Nightbot. Get up this soundcloud. .com slash toko so. What do I have to reauthorize this thing? Come on. I got it. Well, yeah, I know you got it, but I'm setting up the Nightbot thing because I should. Oh, uh, okay. Just a quick custom command. Toko so. Priority, are you listening to, or are you watching the stream? Uh, oh wait, I'm Priority, sorry, uh, Baron. Uh, no, not at the moment. I don't have my phone on. Yeah, let me, I can DM you the link to it. Okay. Sorry, Priority, I got you mixed up with Baron. No worries. Also trying to keep my mic muted so I don't murder everyone's ears. <laughs> Let's just test this out. Nope, we have to spell it right. Togo so. Sweet. Okay, cool. Now I can plug plug them properly. Ooh, I came out. <laughs> don't tell him I said that. Yikes. This time I put on all 277 megs of his free music on random, so we're bouncing around. Oh, sorry, I was reading the John Noyce plaque. <laughs> See how easy it is to distract me? Even with uh, you bumping into something, you were still on my tail uh, during that race. So mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm not a bad racer when I focus and manage not to crash into. <laughs> that's always the, that's always the hurdle in my experience. Yeah, especially when you're like super low to the ground, it's kind of. It's tricky. You have to anticipate that downward drift. Yeah, really the downward easy. drift has killed me a few times on this one. <laughs> also, you can't even once boost with your pitch below zero degrees. Nope. Or if you do, you have to immediately just correct with up thrust. Like, that's one thing that or screwed you, me a you couple times. You need to times. be high enough, but yeah. 
Yeah. Hey, thanks for the follow, Commander Andronova. A new face. Good to see you. I always love a new face. Welcome to Dell's Diversions. We're out here testing a new racetrack. Put four shells on the racer ships, turning into Mario Kart. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> oh, are you on the other side of the world right now? Yes, it's yes. dark there. Darn it. Talking of boosting, he's successfully landed on the mighty 9.9G. Goodness gracious. I have never done a 9G. I haven't done anything higher than 5G. What's the gravitational force on large the pl uh, planet large G? Oh, I don't know. I, I... Planet large G? I, I think that's what it was named. It didn't shoot. It didn't shoot. It's not shooting. <laughs> Faulty nerf gun. It's a bad gat. <laughs> this one isn't loading. My god. All of my weaponry is failing me. <laughs> the dog doesn't like it. I'm sorry, but the people demand bloodshed. There it goes. Right in the toe. Toe shot. There you go, Fridge. What up, Wraith Star Smasher and Crux Scars? <laughs> Dang, thanks for the follow, Crux Scars. What up? Welcome to Dell's Diversions. Just... <laughs> what you need is to have um, someone with like 10k points just give a bunch to each of you, and then you just have a nerf. <laughs> yeah, full on nerf war. Well, I put so I made nerfing her a little more expensive because I don't want to spoil this wonderful thing that is shooting my wife with a nerf gun by doing it too much. <laughs> so I made it 600 points and I put a limit on it so that'll run out. Oh, <laughs> um, <laughs> if people over you, if people abuse it, it, I mean, it won't be abused. I just kind of capped it. She can nerf me much more when she is not around. I just kind of have to nerf myself. Babe, you're up here. <laughs> use the gat that works. Parm, take this to her, please. I wish he would. I wish he would, but he won't touch it. He, sh he shuns weaponry. Good morning, everybody. Just waking up. I felt that buzz over my head. <laughs> okay, might have, might have calm, calm the dog now. Satisfy him, the poor boy. <laughs> um. Yo, what's up? It's a big old raid. Andronova. Okay. okay, it's time to give the dog a bone. Let me put, let me sit down here next to Clock Tower. Let's settle this happy boy out. That's a good boy. He's such... It's For those that are just joining us here and don't know, this is Gene Parmesan, our dear boy. He's very opposed to violence. Um, if we are all roughhousing and bouncing around and hooting and hollering... He gets real wound up, and he's just like, I feel like he's either trying to take part, or he's trying to stop us. Can't tell. Depends. If we high-five too vigorously, he will um, he will object. Did you feed him wet vigorously? Dog? Yes, he ate wet dog food. Um, so, let's, let's give this dog a bone, because he is such a good boy. This good boy is one of the goodest, and this is a good opportunity for me to stretch my legs and put some more water on the boil so that I can keep this tea in my system. Okay, boy, settle down now, young man. Sir. Sir, please. This is a Wendy's. Okay, let's go get a treat for the dog. Be right back.
I'll sleep. Yo. Best dog. Best dog. Fridge, that is the CH fighter stick. I love it. I love my CH fighter stick. It's such a good, good unit. It's a Chongus. It's heavy. It never dies. I think this unit is probably close to 20 years old, if not more. I got it secondhand from an abandoned apartment. And, I mean, it's just treated me so well. Um, I love this thing. Let's see what's going on in the chat. Morning, bros. Morning, Wraith Star Smasher. <laughs> I priority got some guns. I I started going to the gym probably um, in November or September of 2019. So I just kind of started. I just wanted to get a healthy habit going because I didn't really have any. And I work in an office sitting at a desk. And I like to play at my home sitting at a desk. So I'm 31 years old. I better start figuring this out. So I've been going consistently. I'm now over that hump where I don't feel like it's a chore. I, I'm excited about going to the gym. I can't wait to go tomorrow. Um, so thank you. I am getting some guns. I'm trying to buy a six pack. Um, Just got to get to the start line. Okay, yeah. Fridge, is it legacy gear? That's cool. I mean, yeah, it's it's old. I love it. Everybody's on these Thrustmasters and these Warthogs, but man, let me just take a second here since we're going to, one quick, since we're on the subject, a quick here. I'm going to show this off a little bit. So what I love about the CH, you can still get the CH products, Thrust, um, Fighter Stick Pro, I think it is, um, but it's got this analog right here on the throttle. It's got a four-way an eight-way, another four-way, and then you got all these buttons up front, and a four-way here. But really, the analog here is a beaut. Now, this is getting old and sticky on my unit. That's the only problem. I could probably try to take that apart. I've got it mostly zeroed out, but you'll still see, see me struggling. My throttle pulls right, or my, um, my yaw pulls right. Stick is wonderful. You got manual trim for pitch and yaw. You've got an extra Z-axis here. All kinds of buttons. Eight ways, hats, buttons, secondary. This is a, con a mode control. And it comes with its own software for curve input and, and zeroing. So it's uh, it's quite nice. I like it. All right, I'm ready make to sure actually. To... Yeah, we're going to go back to the game. I was going to say, make sure to put your landing gear up. There we go. Gear up. One second, what was that, Ben? All right, clock tower. Yeah. One sec. Oh, my thing isn't loading. Good, good, good lord, Chrome is screwing me right now. Courier Canyon Racing. Yes, Wraith, everybody that's just joining us here, that's that's just joined the channel, um, Clock Tower and I here are testing out a racetrack. We've devised a new racing league that is governed for certain speeds, boosts, max, mast boosts, boosts, and boost interval times. So we've made a bunch of more competitive leagues where you have some more freedom in choosing your ship. They're also more accessible to beginners, so you don't need to have grade 5 engineering on everything to even get to have a good time in the race. It'll be available to almost anyone. you got to have the funds, of course, but... Alright, I'm ready to go. This is the third go. fastest league. This is the third fastest league we're in right now, yeah. So. Alright, you're ready to do another walkthrough so you don't accidentally clip things? Mm. Or do you want to just go? Fuck it. <laughs> Let's do you it live. You just want to go? Yep. Three. Okay. Two, one, go. I'm not even going to glance at chat.
fuck. That took the shields out completely. No mistakes now. Remember, it's three laps. That's right. It's not a heat. It's a marathon. At least my blue um, lines are giving you a path. So helpful. Oh, I went a little wide on that one. Why is it telling me? To oh, that's in the fucking song. Those of you in stream just heard the voice saying eject, 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 <laughs> and I was like, Wh what? No. <laughs> no, 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 no. Fuck. I almost did it again at the exact same spot. Oh. Oh, and I've lost the track. I, cl I clipped myself. I clipped myself on the ground. I just boosted the wrong way. Oh. Oh, not tell. <laughs> Damn it! I've never. All right, let's. I've let's never do raced another walkthrough. <laughs> yeah, I've never raced an elite before. This is honestly my first time actually like doing a race. I've done. It's fun. It is fun as fuck. I've gone like canyon diving and goofed off, and Ooh. then I've taken a hard knock and realize I'm 600 light years from home and I shouldn't be fucking around and so then I'll be like all right <laughs> hey Jez I'm gonna need your uh your repairing I may have accidentally uh bumped into a, a wall you say it so sheepishly be proud <laughs> oh yeah look at you I see you now <laughs> boss lady somebody earlier noticed that um when I was playing uh, I didn't blink for like 10 whole minutes when I was doing CQC one night. I was just like, I don't blink. I notice my eyes start to get itchy, but then I just ignore it and keep going. <laughs> At least uh, Pinto Ring is nice and close. And I Couriers are nice and cheap. Good situation. Yeah, it's very nice to have the station be damn. See, as soon as I bring attention to it, though, my eyes get mighty dry. But then it's just a shit. Uh, Wraith, I'm not too sure how large the. Or how like long the track is in meters. I haven't measured it. I just know that um, going about 650, it takes about a minute to do a lap of the course. A little over a minute. So doing three laps of it seems to be pretty good. For a nice like four to five minute race. Yeah. I gotta remember to just like go a little easier. I'm trying to like overtake you on these turns when I should be focusing on making the turns and overtaking you on some straightaways or something. Your boost interval is uh, quicker than the eagle because I've got a 10 second boost interval versus your seven. So yeah, your the straightaways are is where you're going to get me, not the turns. Got it. Cool. Because sometimes I can't boost out of turns, so I end up going wide. That's when you'll want to overtake me. Is when I I go wide into a um into a straight. I noticed that. Yeah. Wow. We're still top ten. Eighth in trade. Seventh in combat. Seventh in CQC. So would you be able to use a crate too as a hovering mothership and use fighters instead to save there... the by journey? So Elite Racers does have a fighter, like a fighters league. Um, we don't have one. The only reason why is because I don't think the fighters 
like we can't control the speed of the fighters so we can't govern them to the specific leagues that we're trying to make and part of the idea is to add a little bit more diversity to the leagues so mm -hmm. it, with the fighters just everyone's going to choose the fastest fighter and that's all you'll have um which i'm okay with like we could definitely do one like hey bring your large ships and your fastest fighters and we'll do a fighters only like on the hardest course where we know we're going to die a bunch and it's going to be <laughs> brutal like for the most part these these ships are relatively cheap um this rebuys 400,000 credits so um not not terrible but also we're we're working on some other things to help uh enrich more commanders as well there's there's some fun mining type events that we're j that we're working on as well so it's equal fighters then it's down to skill not ship like yeah but the the point or kind of the point of having the uh leagues governed to slightly slower speeds was to allow for ship diversity because every ship handles slightly different so it comes down to more of the skill of the the pilot and the handling of the ship well then it allows for a little more pilot preference right so mm -hmm. you could choose a ship that has 15 degrees more pitch rotation per second and five degrees more roll rotations per second so now you know you've got a little bit more maneuverability over me and you got a faster boost interval versus my ship that might be a little slower on the pitch so you can bank into those turns and boost a lot harder faster more frequently with another ship even though your top speed may be a little slower if the course is curvy enough you know you can choose a superior ship or at least a different you can employ a different strategy on the track mm -hmm. when it comes down to it ship choice when it comes to tracks is going to be important yeah i mean we'll still it's all about knowing that you can obviously use like for tracks that have a lot of sharp turns you can use a ship that has a shitty pitch rate you'll end up being the underdog but then if you win you have even more bragging rights so that's right you say oh man i won that one on an orca y'all picked the <laughs> ship and i took the orca out and i took the fucking w home what yeah nerds? the orca's pitch rate is 30. that's pretty pretty oof yeah pretty bad considering all the other all the other ones are in like the 40 range upper like mid to upper 40s dun, yeah dun, dun, hair and tortoise dun, dun, effect dun, 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 right dun, dun, dun. and we wanted to make a little space for that because edr and a lot of other racing leagues it's just g5 engineering vipers d-class everything epts you're all super fast and crazy fast and but it's also kind of a high limit to entry a lot of people just aren't able to do anything at that level yeah, since Ishtar has a lot of newer commanders, we wanted to have it so the if the ship required engineering, you really only need to go up to like grade one or grade three a lot of the time. I forget, do you need to have a certain class unlocked to get uh, EPTs available or just by getting to the engineer you have? You need to have uh, Felicity Farseer, which for most new commanders is the very first uh engineer they unlock yeah because of the increase to jump range so i figured allowing up to it's also one of the ways to get uh epts but you only need epts for the upper three leagues if you don't have access to engineering at all then you can go with some of the slower ones here let me shine a light on you for your picture oh yeah cool i'll take a screenshot <laughs> Hey, Francis. Or, well, um, Jez is going to be here in just a second. He can sh shine a, a bigger light on both of us. That's true there as well. He, there he is. Yep. An ally needs our help. Yeah. We're making mission directive update. Well, it needs our a lot of updates in a very short amount of time. What happened? What are you getting updates from? Bulletin I, board. Oh. I think he hasn't been on for a while. I've I haven't been on in like oh, wait, a, a, like half a week. <laughs> oh yeah, Francis. Yeah, we've we've been up to some stuff. All is well, but we're live on stream, so we're good. Oh, where'd he go? Lost him. <laughs> there he is. He's Hello. back. Welcome in. Right. 
What happened? All right. I can't uh, hear anything. Hello? Can you hear me? I'm just. Oh, interesting. I guess he can't hear us. Hey, thanks for the follow, Wraith. Can't that was it. awkward. Yo. I'm sorry. Appreciate it. For what? No, you're all right. <laughs> Coffee lurk time. Nice one, guys. Definitely worth. It. Yeah, dude. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Cool. Worth the follow, he says. Let's let uh, Phil Mitchell arrive, and then we will. Uh, I want to take a screenie with both of us at the start line for the testing. Not only that, but I need to be repaired. And you need to be repaired. Actually, this is a good time. I'm going to take the dog out. There's a couple things I want to do um, before I call it a night tonight. Break time. Yeah, let me stretch my legs and take a quick break. I'll be back in less than seven minutes. All right, everybody? All right. All right. Let me uh, get us. Don't hit the ground. Oh, oh no. <laughs> Fucking bruh. Yes, yeah, hit the ground. <laughs> bruh. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna move this uh, spotlight or, or this camera view over here a little bit. <laughs> it's still going. So, how much weight have you also gained with this? With the uh, working out? Yeah. I have gained. And, uh, I'm trying to gain weight, and I've gained a few pounds. I am now 155 pounds fully dressed. I'd like to get to... Um, did, I, did it work? Let me convert. I'm, I'm, a, bit, I'm a bit of a challenge. No, so... that's okay. We should all be at 70.3. Damn, dude. You're lighter than me. I want to get to... Wait, that's, just, that's 11 stone if you use stone. And so I want to get to... Here, let me flip around one, Joe, six, so it doesn't I'd like to, to, get to go around me. Okay. Alright, I will be right back, gonna... folks. I will see you soon. Oh wait, wrong one. Game with this one. Guys, I gotta get my shit together. <laughs> well then, get your stuff, get your poop out of the toilet, shove it into your mouth, eat it, and get it into your brain. I don't know about that one. Put it into a... That's tight. Take it to the shit store and sell it. <laughs> no, bro, that's getting rid of your shit. Okay, that's not getting it together. Okay, I'll be right okay. back. <laughs> Take care of my stream people while I'm gone, they're gonna hear you. Okay. That was French for don't be a dirty bitch. <laughs> I will try my best, bro. <laughs> so, Baron. So, Baron, what have you been up to? Making bills for people. Oh, damn. Yo, you wanna, you wanna make a build for me? What do you want? I wanna, I wanna fast as fuck fighter. Wait, why? Because going shit. fast is fun. I wanna, I wanna it fast. Is, but I, I wanna, I wanna, I wanna. When people are going fast and fighting. They're not doing very good at the fighting part. I know, but I, 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 I wanna try. I want the challenge, bro. Okay. Like, do you want just all out fast, like 700 ms and a not very armored eagle? Or a viper? I mean, I'd like to have one whole reinforcement. Please. <laughs> oh, it, has, it has all of the whole reinforcements in each spot. I don't know. Just all but... ones. Fuck, 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 fuck. With, with, okay. I'm retarded. I haven't played in a while, so I don't know what anything means anymore. <laughs> Sorry for using that word if anyone finds offense in it. What word? The R word, bruh. If, I, why would people find that offensive? I don't know, dude. Some people do. Well, some people need to get a damn safety blanket. Spitting facts. So I saw a felon. Uh, 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 yes, a felon. I saw a felephant up close, within like 10 meters, this weekend. And what is a felephant? 
It's an elephant. It is just an elephant, and you called it a elephant. Yeah, because uh, you know, uh, <laughs> when your brain don't work like it used to before. I forgive you for your sins, Francis. Thank you, Barry. Blood, I gotta say, I've had the worst trouble hearing you the past couple days, and I have you at 200%. I don't know. Who, me? No, I can hear you. You're just fine. Oh. Okay. Alright, hold on. Just wanna make sure. Does it change at all now? Uh, I think it's better. Okay, how about now? I think it's back to normal what I'm used to. I still have you at 200% though, but it's uh, not as quiet as it, as it was. Chilling outside, chilling outside. What are the shields for? Is it because you're special? What? Is it? Do you have a shield because you're special? Does who have a shield? You have shield in name. Uh, yeah, it means I can kick you out of the chat. Mm. That's pretty cool. <laughs> I guess. So does anyone want to mine later? <laughs> yes, Francis, we all want to mine. Are you sure? Yes. I'm mining planets. It's, uh, it's wonderful. Oh. What are you mining? Baron? People? Great force. Oh, does anyone want to play diamond mining? Alright, I'm back. Thanks for waiting. You wanna go mining with me? <laughs> no. I'm gonna go to bed after we nail this little rice here. Hey, Jez, can I get a light real quick? I wanted to grab a screenshot. I didn't do that before we left. Um, let's see, a clock, go ahead and throw your uh, headlight on too. Here comes, here comes the light. Cool, cool, cool. Here comes the light. Don't be afraid. Here comes the light. <laughs> I am not small. All right, ready to go. Or you want to do a fly, fly through, or actual race again? <laughs> do an actual race again. I got one more me. Uh, no, no, no. Okay. Let's do, let's do one lap fly through. Let's do one lap okay. fly through. Okay. Yeah, I'll follow you. No boost, just full cruise. I was on reverse when I started. 
Bruh. Do you need me to slow down? Nope. I'm behind you. Still, I think a viper just kind of sitting there. Yeah. I think it's a python, maybe. Might be a python, I don't know. Gotta remember to come wide here. And remember to take this a little slow. And bear left out of that. I went right. Oh, no. Yeah. Bear left out of that curve. Is the mumba good at racing? No. You'd think it would be. It's, it's like a fast looking it's, ship. It's too slow. It's it, it's too it's too slow turning turning. Not good enough. Right. Um, I can't sure can't be sure. I don't remember if it's lats are really all that bad, but. Okay. It's it's got a really bad pitch rate. It's, uh. It's worse than the the FDO. Its pitch rate is worse than the FDO. Yeah. 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 Uh oh. Uh oh. That uh -oh. boost out of that is kind of where I need. Yep. I'll need a repair before we start. <laughs> Just <laughs> Wait, I one each, please. <laughs> <laughs> I almost bit it. Yeah. I really. It's really um, important because of how tight that uh, little dip is. You have to boost out of that. Let's. Can I go? I want to go back to the midpoint, at least right before that last curve, and review that one more time after we get repaired, yeah, yeah. and then we can do the race. Because yeah, I do want to. I want to have that down. That's that's the tricky one. I got to remember that. That little hump, and then the the broad left turn, and then that one gets really messy. So do you want to go backwards, or do you just want to go through it once again? What the hell is that? It's cops. Um, we'll just go. I want to go back one turn and then uh, okay. try it again. Once we get a little, get a little, fix them up. Yeah, there's a lot of cops here. Yeah, but we're going too fast. <laughs> we're breaking the speed limit on this backwater world. Oh, flip over. Yeah. I've never been repaired like that. What's that do for me? Is he a nice it's just yeah. because the limpet is hitting the ground. Oh, it, it wants to go on the bottom of the ship. I see. Yeah. I hope if they, they let us land on um, Water Worlds, they actually put like some racing courses. That'd be that'd be cool. What I really want them to do is add. Uh, caves like cave systems and tunnels that go through mountains oh descent imagine style. racing through that shit descent style gameplay would be wonderful all right you full up let me get my shields go. up a little bit more and then i'll be ready you're going forward by the way you're facing forward oh yeah oh yeah let's just um cruise over there to the start of that us turn Is it this way? I don't recognize it backwards. I have no memory of it's, this place. It's this right here. <laughs> oh yeah, that's it right so there. So we go turn. up we go up through this little bit. Alright, so we're coming from over here, right? Then... Yeah, so we go like if you're looking at me, we go through here. And we can just kinda go a little slow. So you go over this little ridge, and then it's a very tight turn with a sh uh, short, uh, narrow canyon to go through that bit. I see. Great. When you're going full speed, it's pretty important that you have a boost ready to get out of that. All right. Or you, take, you need to take it wide, which is obviously you're going to lose speed. Yeah. Can't overstate, to do that. can't overstate how important lateral thrusters are in those moments, too. So it's up here. Let's 
see if we can actually get three laps going. <laughs> I feel attacked. It's fine. <laughs> I, I've i probably spent like easily two to three mil on revise for this. It's it's definitely not easy to get down. Yeah. I gotta go. Sadness All right. increases. Sadness increases. Mm. Well, with rest, your the sadness will decrease. Okay, uh, I should be like right next to you now. Yep. I see you there. All right, on All go. Right, count us down. Okay. Yep. Three, two, one, go. Ooh. Gotta go wide for this. Uh oh. Yep. Alright. That's a yikes. Oh, I didn't do the thing. I went the wrong way. Oh no. I boosted <laughs> straight into the ground. But it didn't, it didn't hurt all that bad. We're alright. I didn't. I forgot I to go. You died! <laughs> I win! <laughs> I forgot. It's alright. I've, I've oh. got two out of three. That was a clusterfuck. I forgot to go left. It's alright. Try to go ahead and finish the three laps. Yeah, I'll just fly through this a few times and get the hang of it. <laughs> I, uh... I forgot that you had to... I didn't go wide enough on that, like, little opening, so I had to make a quick uh, right to get into that canyon and I didn't have a boost to pull out of it. Yeah, this, um, that last turn is hard to see that little hump that you're supposed to swing around. Oh, kill a dark. She's, um, no, I can't do that tonight. She's in bed and I'm about to go join her. It wouldn't be prudent right. at this juncture to do such a thing, but I promise you I'll cut <laughs> it. I'll, I'll put your nerf, your name on a nerf dart tomorrow and give it to her at high velocity. <laughs> You have four pips into engines, correct? I have am assist systems right now because I want my shield back while I keep flying <laughs> as soon as possible. Oh, uh, okay. Because <laughs> I'm just I'm just pathing this out now. Yeah. I'm practicing my route, and then I go left here. Yes. Yeah, it's a big circle. Right. All left turns. Except for that like little jutting out cliff that you kind of fork around you gotta juke through there yeah all right then i'm gonna cut this corner again i didn't die immediately though i uh i hit it and then i bounced and ricocheted into another one which then ended up killing me <laughs> <laughs> that's a hazard so the other thing that is, if we want to get good footage of any of these races, we got to try see if we can time them for daylight. But I don't even yeah. want to fathom what kind of math would be necessary to calculate the rotational period, determine how long a day is on one of these worlds, and then chart that day I, out to our day. That's all, that'd be an awesome amount of math. I've been to this track three times, and it's only ever been night here. <laughs> Oh, well, maybe I've it's... never seen I've never seen this track in the day. Is it tidally it, it locked? It happened. No, it happens okay. because the screenshot that I had of the track was during the day. Oh yeah, that's right. Contact Orange Phoenix, spelled correctly here, for a talented camera operator. Wonderful. Thank you for the rec, because I'd love to produce some good footage of these events. There's the python. Yeah, you're on you're on what lap two or three? Oh, uh, you're on three. This I, is my three. Last, yeah, this is my last yeah. lap. Yeah. Yeah, that thing you're going through right, right there is what ended up getting me. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Well, this is quite all right because Bob wouldn't get here in time because I'll be, in, I'll log off and go to bed. 
Bob will have plenty of times to kill me. But no, so... What do you think of the track? I like it a lot. Now yeah. that I'm getting the hang of it. This is... It, this little it has here, hazards. This little hump here is going to be hard to train. It's it's because it's such a small little notch. It's yeah. indistinguishable. Um, but once you figure it out... That would be the one point where we could use like a laser beam. If we yeah. had if we had somebody on hand to be like cut this corner here. Yeah. Um... Wait a minute. It's... Bob says we induced Father Bill to your orca religion. Isn't that heresy? He had seventy viewers and we wanted to raise awareness. Oh, you saint. Well, are you a saint of this new religion, Bob? Because <laughs> I demand that you be canonized immediately. For your good work in the name of the orca pod the orca religion is strong with commander innards yeah innards is all in on the orca and i don't know if you know but i have abandoned my plans for a pvp crate or a pvp fdl and i'm going all in on pvp orca oh hang on i gotta send a message to this guy um no, I definitely do like the track. It's got some ha hazards, so people will die if they're not careful. Um, and it's got some twists and turns, so I think it's a good one. All right, GG. Look at this kitty. This is GG. Giada de Ferentis. She gets in the way of my keyboard all the time. Okay, come on. You're not going to be able to stay there for long. Um. What was I going to type? I was I had to type something. Oh yeah. Oh no. Oh Phil, how how'd Phil die? What? <laughs> oh no. <laughs> he boosted into the ground, Phil. <laughs> Phil Mitchell. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man, he's so dead. <laughs> Phil's Batman. Phil's man. Yeah, that's man. pretty good. Express return to my disc. Yeah, that's actually what we used to call it in World of Warcraft taking the express. You just jump off of things. Your cat is full bread mode right now. She is so content in this spot. She loves it there. Um, it's her favorite. Oh, we lost him. <laughs> yeah. Definitely. Alice Billiard. Alright, where are I? Where am I? I got I got one more race in me. Yeah, the way you just did it there, where you took the little, uh, where you took that wide, is a safe route to go. Yeah. Seems seems safe. Whole seals. Oh, I see what. Oh no. You, yeah, I was gonna say. You know what orca's like primary prey is. <laughs> this guy up with the link um, since we have some folks in the audience I want to show something in case you don't know since I'm wrapping up shortly
website is edtutorials.com. It was produced by Exegius, Level 11, The Burr Pit, NATO, Smoke, AXI. A bunch of people collaborated to create this awesome resource. Um, you guys are looking at my just chest right now. Unnecessary. So, I uh, have somebody in my squadron who's asking about where to get Thargoid materials. He needs meta alloys. And so we're going to go to engineering and we're going to go to materials. And. Oh, wait a minute. I forget, they might have moved around since I first came here. So we'll just go to meta. We'll s use their search function. Search meta alloys. Collecting meta alloys in the Barnacle Forest. We don't want that. I don't want to send them to the Barnacle Forest. I want to send them to the Thargoid sites. Why? The Barnacle Forests are where you get meta alloys. I prefer to get them from the actual Thargoid stations because then he, it's more reliable. So many of the barnacle sites are either, you know, they say they're ripe, but then they're not. And you're going from site to site to get one or two meta alloys, but you can get at least three to five from a regular Thargoid mm. surface station pretty reliably in my experience. Maybe I haven't looked around too much, but I don't think I've ever seen uh, a meta alloy at a site. Well, they Granted, have... I, most, I mostly just go in oh, yeah. and if then you, leave. If you drive around the region, there's a dozen or more of those spires, just like at the barnacle sites. There's no central mm. barnacle flower, but those spires, with a pretty reliable rate, will hold um, will hold meta alloys. I gotcha. I'm not finding it on the ED tutorials right now, actually, because I think I usually go to um, Canon to get it. Um, let me just do this. It's not there, it's not there. Haas base. This is the one. Are you uh, coming down to the race, or are you just in the ring? Oh, you wanted me to come back. Okay. No, 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 no. Yeah, no, let no, me no. come back. Don't trip. It's actually, it's my bedtime. Okay. Yeah. I didn't know you, I thought you were just doing more laps. Might be. No, no, it's cool. I'm, I would have died anyway. I'm, I'm at low health. <laughs> Here, I'll take the express too. <laughs> actually, I'll just race as quickly as I can until I take the express. Here we go. I better put the game back on on my stream. Nerf the Dell. I don't have a Nerf gun right now. Here. I'm sorry, it's all I got at the moment. Alright, wait a minute. We're over here. Yeah, you're welcome, dude. It's my pleasure. How was your stream? Oh, yeah, I'm going to get this track down, clock. <laughs> get ready to... Oh. Yeah, you're going to get smoked, fool. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> I guess it's a challenge now. I'm just feeling it. <laughs> it's a fun little track. I like it. It's short and sweet. It's and I mean, with having sweet. multiple laps, you get to know the track more. You're going to bring your Beluga, Jez? Oh, Jesus. At least use an Orca. Up. That one has a respectable boost. Okay. 
Jesus is back. Alright. Back again. What up? Jenny's back. You gained two Tell followers, the upper. Congratulations. It's exciting. It's very exciting. <laughs> Thank you for letting us know. A little, no, a little bits at a time, man. He's my Yopper is my first, um, my very first follower, actually. Oh, jeez. Or right okay. there among them. I don't know if he was my very first, but he was my very first like viewer for sure. He had came in when I was like in the garage. Oh station. my god, a station is eating me. All right, my trick that I'm trying to do is stay low enough so that I'm, you know, getting through these properly. And I'm making sure that my boosts are staying relatively low or relatively high. Fuuuuuck! Uh, Did you see that shit? Oh, nice. All right, I got lost though. You... I got lost. Yeah. <laughs> Cause I came through there, I almost died there, and then Oh no, it's just this is the straightaway. This is the last Yeah. But how did I get lost there? Um, what's up in the chat? Yeah, this game can run a mid range. Oh, see the majestic blue. I'm catching a bunch out here. Good morning, weird beard Mike. I'm doing well today. I'm actually just about to be going to bed. It is oh, nearly midnight, and um, well, I have to go to stupid work in the morning. That's okay. I'll figure it out. So I must go to bed before too long. I'm just trying to kill myself on this racetrack, actually. I'm trying to go as hard as I can. Yeah, boss lady, let's get you out here flying this track with us. I'll send you the, the ship league. Um, get my uh, Discord info from from Jez, and feel free to hit me up there, and I'll hook you up with the uh, the leagues for this. Fuck. Oh, wow, that didn't hurt my shield at all. No, just, a, just a little belly flop. Yeah, when you do little love taps, the courier has very good shields for those. Sorry, we gotta gotta turn it up a little bit. Yeah, you gotta have the EPT. Get lower to the ground. Yeah, all right, that's right. Let's let's start riding the deck here. I'm trying to cut my corners as tight as possible. Yeah, by doing that, you end up getting super high in the air, though. Yeah, exactly. And I gotta watch using my laterals, my vertical lats, when I'm taking these turns. Because I use those to cut my corners. But then I inadvertently get too much air, and then I'm like not making the, not making yeah. the curves right. How's that? Yeah, that was pretty good. There it goes. <laughs> Oopsies. I I meant to do that. Yeah, what do you mean max alt? Um Is Alt the boost key on keyboard and, and mouse? It's been no, so long since I've No alt, oh, max, oh, max altitude. altitude. Um We don't on, have one. It, yeah, uh, <laughs> we didn't we haven't regulated one yet. We're still kinda testing it, but that's a good we should nail down the altitude. Ideally on canyon races you'd want to stay below the below the rim, right? Now this one's a little more open yeah. in parts. So we should um, determine what that is, clock tower, and record that for the track. And I'll just I do think roll. that just trying to go over like getting above the side the top parts of the canyon should be like a disqualification. But it's We'd have to... I mean, I also need to take someone out there and measure the damn track. Yeah. Yeah, that's got to be done, too. 
Who's so got we the can little actually wheelie learn. stick with the, you know, where you can walk and it rolls and measures the distance. <laughs> more, more like just two people across the damn thing, and yeah. then we can measure the distance from each other. Yopper, what PC, uh, wants to know what PC I have. Um, I am actually, it's a, let me see if I can get the system information up for you guys. I haven't written a specs command yet, but I should. Um, but I have um, a G, GT970. Or GeForce 970. I've got a um... oh, S Wraith Star Smasher. Thank you so much for hanging out. It's good to see you, and I hope to see you again soon. Have a lovely time. Um, my system information. It's an i5 3300. It's not a wonderfully powerful system. It doesn't need to be for this game. And if you can run it on a potato, there's a uh, there's a great piece of software called ED Profiler that can tone down a lot of features of the game to make it runnable on remarkably underpowered systems. So you can really you can really bring Elite Dangerous to um, you know, some really cool uh, platforms. I've seen people play it on like their cars um, operating systems like hack their vehicle OS and play it on the dash computer <laughs> I'm putting a link to the spreadsheet in the system in case people wanted to try it cool great ED profiler I'll write it down for you here That's right, yeah. I'm just wrapping a couple things up here, guys. There you go, check clocks, post there. Um, Elite Dangerous is not free, but it does very frequently go on sale. So, um, add it to your wish I list on Steam. I think he meant ED Profile. Oh, ED Profiler is free, yes. Um, Elite Dangerous really thrives with the use of many of these free third-party applications that people use. really enhances the gameplay, gives you a lot more options, uh, helps the game survive in a lot of ways. Um, ED pre yeah, yes it is. Alrighty. Just cruising over to Twitch. Check out this relaxing exploration tomorrow. This happy Johnny D. We're gonna raid somebody. Happy Johnny D. Never seen him before. Relaxing exploration tomorrow. Friendship. Friendship. Oh. Look at that tall, interesting bodies. Oh, cool. This looks great. You guys want to raid a guy? 16 and 16 viewers. I mean, that's phenomenal. Thanks to everybody that has followed and shown up last night boss lady B Or the last not last night the last time she raided me two days ago I didn't give a full shout out to everybody that followed me. Thanks to spinach EQ Lobo God 74 Tehen one atomic biff a ram class Captain Sue's garlic garlic all of those follows so much appreciated blaze Follow Lauren JW, Raisendorf, thank you. Malp, much love. You know who you are. And then just tonight, I mean, Commander Andronova, Scars, Crut Scars, Wraith Star Smasher, thanks to all you guys for turning up. So.
I always like to ask if I can raid just because it seems polite before you show up to somebody's house. Although, let's just do it. <laughs> Get in there. I mean, if that's the way to go. I will. I asked, but that doesn't mean I have to wait for permission. Let's go. That would be an interesting court case. Oh, what? <laughs> Just because I, I I asked, but I didn't wait for permission. <laughs> that would be yeah. pretty funny. I'm out of here. Alright, take care. Good night. Good night. It was fun. Good night. Good night.